All right, I'm going to show you how this ball maze works. All right, let's take off the top cover. You start here. Now, if if the cube is being held the wrong way, this way, you you are going to go over and fall down to the next layer. Okay. And then, as you see, it's possible to fall to the next layer. Okay, which then allows you access to fall down to the next layer. And that's a dead end. So you would have to backtrack to get out of there. The correct way to enter the maze would be straight ahead. So the ball comes around, goes down, and it can fall through that hole there. Now that hole, let me get a pointer, this hole here it goes through the next layer. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop the ball through here. Okay, so that takes us down past layer two all the way to our third layer. We can then travel across. And then we want to bring the ball back up through layer two into the top layer or layer one. Okay. The ball then would come across, and drop down through the second layer, through the third layer, all the way down to the bottom layer. Way to, and has a path which allows us to go across and over. We can then come upward and end up in the third layer. A ball comes across, drops down, back down to the fourth layer which then allows you to exit the maze. Oh, cool. What do you have, buddy? Can I check it out? Aw, uh -uh, man. Better back off. Dude, give it up, man. What the heck? Uh, come on. Right, grab your hands. There you go. Now, let's see. Uh, Micro Jig Gripper. And while I have your attention, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up, and very soon we're going to have some giveaways sponsored by Micro Jig. Work smarter, work safer.